What's going on guys? So today in the garage, I'm going to be installing an Hermosi throttle, adjustable thumb throttle on the LTR 450. And um, I've had one of these on my quad since probably 2017, 20, no, 2018. And I just, after using them, they're just one of those things that uh, I kind of feel like every quad, at least every one of mine, needs to have. It's just one on my must-have list to uh, to add to my quad. Um, now this particular one is a factory edition. Uh, I do also have an original edition on the Z400 that I've had no issues with. And I'll go over some of the differences between the two uh, later on. But I just kind of wanted to do a real-time unboxing of the throttle uh, as well as what comes, you know, in the box and everything and uh, how I go about installing them. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So you got a little bit of information here uh, and some instructions. Go ahead and follow this or you can use this video. Every machine will be a little, a little bit different kind of, but for the most part, it's the same principle. Right here we have a little bit of tools and uh, also some hardware that goes with the throttle. And the best thing to do is just to lay everything out once you get everything unboxed. So, and then the uh, the meat and taters of the whole operation is the thumb throttle. So we have the thumb throttle housing here, as well as the thumb throttle lever itself. So let's go ahead and uh, get this thing going here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm actually gonna go ahead and just set up a, uh, just set up a rag here so that way nothing walks away from me. I know uh, I'm one of those guys who can do things pretty quick, but I spend more time looking for, uh, looking for tools or parts that I just sat down, and then I'm like spending the rest of my day looking for everything. <laughs> so just try to get everything out in front of you. Really simple device, um, but man, it's just it's just one of those things where when you're riding for long periods of time, it's just something nice to have. If you can't do a twist on the quad, I mean, this is some people can do twists, and I'm I'm not one of them. So I think I got you guys in view there. So. What we're gonna do is first, we'll go ahead and remove the top. To the throttle. And set all the little Allen pins, little Allen bolts aside. And again, I'm putting this on a 2006 LTR, and there's some things you need to know about that as well. Uh, and I'll go over that at the end here. Pretty, pretty easy solution. But so you got your the top to the throttle as well as the gasket. Now, you don't have to do this. Uh, these bearings come, you know, they they come with some uh, oil in them, some lube. But it's just a habit of mine. Anytime I have something apart, I like to just go ahead and grease it. Definitely not needed, I don't think. But uh, just something I like to do. These bearings are really, really nice um, roller bearings in there with seals. So you know it does seal, it does seal up nice. So what we're gonna do? I'm just gonna take a little bit of this Maxima waterproof grease. I usually use this with a do this with a q-tip of course I don't have a q-tip so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on a pick and just kind of stick it in there and just kind of spread it around a little bit again not needed but just something I do so get that going So basically the way this thing goes together is we're going to go ahead and mount the housing. So the, the actual like housing with the handlebar clamp, we're going to mount that onto the bars 
And then we're gonna go ahead and stick the throttle lever shaft up in through the housing like this. It's gonna go up and through there like this. I have to back the set screws out. Oh, yeah, okay. It's gonna go up through there, and then the rest of the magic happens from the top. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this whole setup over to the quad. I'll see you there. Look how fast that happened. Live time, buddy. Woo. a little bit closer okay go ahead and pop the the Hermosi housing on sorry I was just saying hello to my neighbor. Now when you're putting this together, there's a like a square edge here on this little bottom of the clamp. You kind of want that to face towards the back to go with that little shape there. So that way it all just kind of lines up real nice. So I was gonna go over this later, but I might as well go over it now. With the LTR, if you have an 06 to 08 LTR, and you're gonna keep the stock fuel injection, you wanna use an 09 throttle cable because 09, they switched to the threaded style cable here, which is what you need for the Hermosi throttles. They used to make a Suzuki a tab style version, um, but they stopped making that. So you need to run a threaded style cable. If you're doing a carb conversion on an LTR like an FCR, well then you have to run a YFZ or a TRX cable. So then you're good, it'll work no matter what. And most of the other quads, the Yamaha, Honda, they already have a threaded cable. So if you have a YFZ, a TRX, a Raptor, you're already. Sorry about that, cut out on me. We'll continue on. So again, if you're doing an 06 to 08 LTR, um, and you're keeping the stock fuel injection, make sure you use an 09 cable. In my case, I'm, I just got a Motion Pro one. So we are going to stick, actually first, we're gonna take the throttle arm and we are going to thread it onto the cable, like so. You can just let it hang out there. Again, I'm doing this real time and I haven't done this in a little while now. So actually I need to put this little washer down in here if I remember right. Yep, little washer goes down in there, comes up. Gosh, I'm an amateur, I'm sorry guys. So what I give her trying to do this on a Wednesday afternoon after after work. I thread the throttle cable into the housing first. This course, this cable is not leaving me with a ton of adjustment, but I can adjust it more down below if we have to. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab the cable. There we go. And then. Go 
This little bronze bushing with the uh, Allen screw will go in from the top like this on top of the throttle lever arm. And again, it's nice he includes all of the correct Allen keys so you don't have to uh, even get your toolkit out. Now I'm not gonna do the fine tuning adjustments on this, but basically on the factory throttle, there's four set screws. And I like to have it, this is just my opinion. Some people like to have the throttle way down here. This is the cool part, the adjustability of it. I like to have it a little closer to the grip like that. So first thing I do is I make sure this has three preset positions. You have a, a forward, a middle, and a back. I like to make sure it's in the middle and then kind of get it where I want it. I'm just about right there in the middle. And then for now, I'm just gonna set two of the set screws for now. And again, I'll kind of ride it later. Make sure it, uh, make sure it's kind of like how I want it. Next thing to do is you just want to get the free play out a little bit. I mean, everyone's uh, preferences different. Some people like no free play. I like a little bit, just a little bit. That way, it's not just like an on-off switch. You also want to try and make sure you know it's opening your your either your carb throat or your throttle body butterfly all the way and as you can see it stops before it hits the housing so we are good there i'm going to leave it there that feels pretty good we'll set the little adjust the little uh, set screw there on the cable make it just stay like that we'll go ahead and put the top on cap on Line it all up. This is probably <laughs> the tenth throttle I've installed, but it's been a while. I've Probably haven't put one on any of the quads in a couple of years now. The last quad I built was the white 250R, and that would have been, uh, yeah, two years ago. So it's been a while. But still as easy as ever. That feels way better than the stalker already, just from the improved leverage ratio, not even from the adjustability part. <laughs> so, what I'm gonna do.
do now get this little guy out of the way so they're mostly throttled now this is the factory edition now the main difference between the factory edition and the standard edition is the factory edition is made of a little bit higher grade aluminum so it's uh, i believe 70 75 aluminum versus the 60 61 on the standard um, you also get four set screws for the thumb throttle lever just to really lock it in place so you have two here two here the standard one only has two um, it has a unique serial number to you so that you know no one will no one else will have that serial number um, and then also the factory editions have a lifetime warranty and uh, the other one I believe has a two-year it's a two-year warranty limited warranty um, and they're both made in the USA so there's that as well now the main so there's a ton of videos on this on YouTube going over the uh, the benefits of these you know check them all out Pete Hager Mike Sabo uh, Cuervo racing out there in uh, Cal California or Arizona I can't remember where he's at but there's a ton of a ton of uh, testimonials on these um, personally I've been using them for five years now and I just love them um, again you can adjust the lever where you want it in relation to the grip the distance up and down and then you also have three preset adjustments on the fly while you're uh, while you're riding so you have the furthest most most back you've got a middle position and you got a far position and I love this because I usually leave it in the middle position and then at the end of the day if I'm really tired and I just want to sit you know and just cruise back to camp you can put it in the most forward position if your thumbs all cramped up or forearms cramping up you can just leave it there and cruise back uh, if you're doing more standing up riding you can put it in the most forward you know the most forward position and that will really let you know you, you'll, you'll be able to stand up and the throttle won't disappear on you um, I like it close to the grip because that to me it almost simulates a twist throttle and the fact that you can keep more of a closed fist while you're riding and to me that gives gives me more control so that's what I that's why I like it you can see when I'm full throttle right there I still have kind of a full fist right there so that's the main difference between the factory and the standard and the benefits of it also it just has an improved leverage ratio it, it honestly feels very similar to like a honda style thumb throttle but even better um, because you don't have bushings at the friction points you have you have actual roller bearings um and it's a very precise fit you can see there's really there's really not much play going on there whereas if you looked at like a stock throttle like on a suzuki here's the stock ltr throttle you can see it just it just has a, I don't know if I can get it to show up on camera, but it's got a ton of, ton of play. Um, and this is just not a very good ratio. Your thumb cramps up, the throttle's stiff. This is just kind of the, a lot of characteristics of thumb throttles on quads and a lot of complaints. So, excellent product. So I have a factory edition on the LTR. I've got a factory edition on the 250R. And then I've got a standard edition on the Z400. And I've had this particular throttle on since 2020 when I put the FCR on. And that one's been on that quad even longer. That one's been on since 2019, I believe. So yeah, guys, just an excellent throttle. I hope this video wasn't too long. I think it'll kind of, uh, I think it will kind of show you guys how to do it quickly and easily unbox it toss it on the quad go ride and uh enjoy i mean these things are just awesome these and and, and by the way you don't have to be a you know a, a top tier rider or racer to have one of these everyone can benefit from these especially especially little kids uh you know the popular thing to do for a while was to get a honda honda housing and then put a trx 90 lever on it and uh, you can do that if you're on a budget there's no problem with that but these are really the way to go and you know if you sell the quad you know if you put it on like a raptor 125 or a 250 and then they move on to a bigger quad later on like a trx 450 a yfz and ltr you can move it from that quad to you know the new quad so it's just kind of an investment that you can move from machine to machine 
and something that uh, something that I feels uh, I that I feels worth it. Uh, <laughs> gas tank is off. I am uh, was fixing a little leak on the petcock petcock on the stock tank, and I also have a steering stem coming in. So I want to be leaving the plastics off for a little bit longer until I until I get the steering stem in. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I hope I didn't leave anything out. If I did, leave it down in the comments below. If you have any questions, leave it down in the comments below. And uh, I'll even leave my email in the description if you want to shoot me a message. Um, and then uh, real quick, just want to touch on it. Again, if you have an 06 to 08 LTR, you need a threaded style cable. They used to make a tab style like this, or mostly used to make one. I can't remember why they stopped making them, but they did. So it's just a simple cable cable deal. And most of these older quads, it's time to go ahead and replace the cable anyways. It's just a normal maintenance item. You can go OEM or Motion Pro. Um, if you're running an FCR carb on the Z400, you're already set up, good to go, because they use a threaded cable. Otherwise, that's all you gotta do. Just do a little research, get the correct cable, and uh, you're ready to rock. Anyways, guys. Appreciate you watching, and I will catch you in the next one. And real quick, guys, one last thing. Not only is it made in the USA, it's made here in Florida locally to me by a guy who's not only a great guy, he is an enthusiast of, uh, of motorsports in general, but especially quads and dirt bikes. And um, he's an ATV rider himself. He's a very good rider. And uh, he's not just trying to profit off of people by making a unique product he's you know he made this because he felt there needed to be a better option than just a stock throttle or twist throttle or one of those dual gasser things he wanted to make he wanted to use the the thumb throttle idea but engineer it to its best potential and that is what this is so um if you're not already following or mostly throttles on on uh, instagram or youtube i suggest you do so he posts he posts some great content uh, just great short videos and how to's and him working on things. So uh, give him a follow. It's totally worth it. Again, thank you guys for watching.